Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian back here with another quick bite, Living the Word. Uh, this morning I woke up and I was thinking a lot about, uh, actually I've been reading a lot about and hearing a lot about from a lot of different brothers and sisters in Christ who are, well, ultimately just really upset about the state of our economy or perhaps even what the state of our economy is going to look at at the end of all this and this time that we're in right now. And I, I, I just, I wanted to share a thought for us uh, that the Lord just keeps impressing upon my heart by way of encouragement to us probably to a lot of us challenge honestly um and so i'm going to tell you that i may say something in this that that if you listen just to be offended you will be offended i'm gonna be honest with you but if you actually will hear it out and listen to the words of the lord and uh, the thoughts the lord is giving me i think that at the end of this you'll see that perhaps there's some examination we all need to be doing in our own hearts during this time uh, in regards to our economy uh, a lot of people are just upset about our economy well the thought i had was this um, and it comes from Matthew chapter 6. Now, you guys are familiar with this passage, uh, but I wanted, I'm going to jump us through the entire chapter a little bit uh, as we go through this. So the Lord really impressed upon my heart this morning as I was thinking about uh, the, the economy and, and what people are facing with the economy. Uh, now, I want to be honest. I know that some of you have lost money, be it uh, in 401ks or, you know, family members who have lost money in their 401ks or in their, their investments in the stock market or they're lo losing their jobs or whatever the case may be. And I understand those are serious, guys. I'm not taking away from what you're dealing with there. But ultimately, as Christians, I don't want to say that doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter. I mean, I can't think of a better way to say it. Because in, in, in Matthew chapter 6, um, and I, I just want to read to us a passage you'll be familiar with. You've heard this a thousand times. You've heard it one, right? Right. Verse 24, the Lord speaking, he says these words to us. He says, no man can serve two masters, for he will hate the one or he will love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Well, here's the thing. As Christians, I think when we get upset about the economy, uh, over upset about the economy, I'm not saying there isn't disappointment and things like that. But when you make that such a focus of what you're looking with, looking at right now and it's such a big deal in your life right now, I'm going to tell you right now, honestly, who is your God? Is it mammon or is it God? Because at the end of that chapter, in chapter 6, the Lord says these words to us, um, Picking up at verse 33, and let's read through th verse 34, all right? Actually, we'll pick up at verse 31. It says, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we clothe? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. So first of all, God knows what we need. If, if there was ever a man in the history of the Bible who understood loss, economic loss, financial loss, it was Job. Job lost it all in one day. Job lost everything in one day, not to mention his own kids. He understood loss. But Job would be the one who would come back and basically say, you know, in, in essence, it's the Lord that giveth and the Lord that taketh away. Right. And I'm paraphrasing there. But this is in essence what he's saying. It's God's to give. It's God's to take away. See, so often I think one of the frustrations we run into and why we get so upset about our finances is because we think it's ours. And what I mean by that is this, is we give our, our, our tithe to the Lord and then we consider the rest of the money ours. I'm telling you, it's all his. He gave it to you to begin with. It's his to do with as he pleases. Yes, you give back, not because God needs the money. You give back so that you are, are contributing to the work the Lord is doing there. But the Lord can use your money any way he wants to use your money. But he goes on from that point and he says this way, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So what are we supposed to be focused on as Christians? We're not supposed to be focused on my finances. We're not supposed to be focused on the economy. We're not supposed to be focused on, uh, on my needs, on, on, on all these things like this. We're supposed to be focused on the kingdom of God, seeking the kingdom of God. And this is where one of my frustrations has been coming in because at the end of all this, and I, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not coming down one way or the other on where you're, what what is all happening in the nation, how much of it may be spin, how much of it may be truth, how much, I'm not coming down on that, and I'm not even going to get into that, because you know what, honestly, it doesn't matter. What matters is this, is that, let's just say that, well, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll use a personal example, all right? Let's just say that all this time I've been upset about the economy, so I've been on, on, on my Facebook and on my social media ranting and raving about how we're destroying the economy, and is it worth it for some a few lives, and blah, 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 and stuff like this. Well, you know what? I know personally a young lady who I used to teach in the youth group who I hold dear, I love her to death, whose husband is a, is a police officer in, in New York City who is suffering with COVID right now. 
Now, I'm pretty sure they haven't taken her aside into his private room and said, okay, we're going to use you to deceive everybody. But that being said, he says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Because here's the thing. I want her to hear my heart through all of this. It doesn't matter what we're facing. We love you. We're supporting you. We are the body of Christ. At the end of this, I don't need to have money. At the end of this, I don't need to have, I mean, it's going to sound horrible. I don't need to have a home. At the end of this, I don't need to have cars. I don't need to have, what I need is Jesus. I need to seek the kingdom of God first. Then it says, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for morrow shall take a thought of the things of itself, sufficient of the days, the evil thereof. Here's the point. Why are you so worried about what the economy is going to look like? Didn't God promise to meet your needs? Didn't God say that he knows what he, you have need of and that he'll take care of those needs? So why are you so upset? Because maybe, maybe you've been putting too much stock in the mammon, too much stock in God, the God of mammon, uh, instead of the God of God, uh, the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings. You know, brothers and sisters, let's get a right perspective in all of this. If at the end of all this time, the economy is flat, busted, broke, and we're back into a complete economic crisis. This nation's been through it before. Um, many of our relatives and, and, and our grandparents lived through different times that were much like that. You know, the sky was falling then, and they think we think it's falling now, but it is not. So I want to close with the very first Bible verse I ever memorized. And it is actually a Bible verse that I memorized before I even knew Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Now, I memorized this in a different manner and for a different purpose. But now I have memorized it for the right reasons. I have it in my head now, understanding what the Lord is really saying. He says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, But my God shall supply all your need. All your need according to, I'll make, I always paraphrase it, so I want to read it actually the right way, I apologize. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Listen, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches. See, that's the key. Everything is his. It's not yours. It's not mine. It doesn't belong to the leaders of our nation. It doesn't belong to, it is his to do with as he sees fit. Shall you accept good at the hand of the Lord and not evil? What if the Lord decides to destroy our economy? Okay, Lord, as long as at the end of the day, I'm seeking you. But this is my thoughts for you today, guys. I pray this is an encouragement to you. I love you all. And remember, we're all in this together. We all have our worries. We all have our frustrations. But we have a God who is on our side and knows our needs. Love you until we see each other again. Bye.